Hi everyone, we back with another WCT Hill and Talk. And here today I'm here with disability activist Leroy Moore. And I, I wanna Leroy, can you please introduce yourself? Yep, Leroy Moore here from Berkeley, California. I'm a disabled activist, poet, um, author, and founder of Crip Hop Nation, um, Poor Magazine, and the National Black Disability Coalition. Oh, so um, can you tell me about like how you got started in like being like a disability activist? Yeah, well, it goes way back into my childhood. Um, I think it was like 79, 1980, when a group of us, all black disabled boys, went upstairs to my bedroom and started writing letters to um, black organizations because we didn't see ourselves in the community on, on TV. So we wrote letters, and that was, you know, a time we before computers, so we had to write. <laughs> so we wrote letters and letters, and that really um, started my advocacy around Black disabled people. Oh, okay, that's good. Um, can you talk about a little about how life was before the ADA, American Disability Act, was passed in the 90s? since like you was doing activism in, in 79 and the 80s? Yeah, for me, uh, being black and disabled, I it was a separate world because I found out that, um, you know, being black and disabled, I, in my community, faces a whole total different attitude uh, compared to my white disabled counterparts. So because of that, we had a separate life, you know, um, dealing with police brutality all the way back then, dealing with um, a lack of health care all the way back then. So yeah, before the ADA, a lot of um, black to sale people didn't get really nothing, you know, you know compared to, um, I just tell people that, you know, was enjoying the Rehab Act of 1973, 75. Um, a lot of disabled youth were stuck in special education, almost the same thing as today. <laughs> um, so yeah, those, those are the things that um, we dealt with. Yeah, because I know, like, with my personal, because, like, I know, like, I wasn't born with, like, a disability, but I acquired one when I was 13. And I know, like, when I was getting back into school, that was a huge big thing of them immediately placing me in special ed classes, mm -hmm. even when, like, I proved that, like, I can be in regular classes and things. So... I know that was one of the personal struggles that I dealt with even after the Disability Act was passed in the 90s. Yeah, my my, my mother had to take the um, school board of court in 1970-something to sue them just to get me out of, um, you know, separate education, so, yeah. Yeah, um, can you, cause I know it's like a whole bit, especially with like black boys, that they place them in like special education for like behavioral problems. Can you talk a little bit on like the impact, like just placing black boys and special ed have on them when they reach like adulthood or how that impact they self esteem? Yeah, like I said, you know, most students in special education are fucking brown boys. Um, this really affects them. Um, the National Black Disability Coalition and the thing that um, does a lot of work around this, you know, it affects them because um, 
you know, after special education, it's not like you're going to go to college, you know, you go to like, a, you know, you're just out of school. So there's no preparation of, you know, job repairing and um, getting a job. So that equals a lot of unemployment of black disabled people, black disabled boys and girls. So, so because of that, um, it's unemployment in a large um, percentage of black disabled people living in poverty. Mm. You know? Yeah, and 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 nowadays it's it's, it's the direct um, direct um, location to prison. You know, mm. the school, the prison pipeline goes directly into special education. So so you get a lot of black disabled young men in prison because they're right in special education. Mm. So can you talk about when did you start it like Crip Hop, Crip Hop Nation and the Poor Magazine campaign? Yeah, before Crip Hop Nation, I was doing another nonprofit called Disability Advocates of my Minority Organization that started in 98 and went all the way to 2000, and that was for people of color with disabilities. As a matter of fact, we did what's called the other side of the ADA rally back in like 98, 99, 2000 to really bring the stories of um, poor black and brown disabled people that have been missed by ADA. So so Disability Advocates of Minorities Organization was the first organization I did. And after that, uh, I and a friend started on um, Sins in Valley with Patty Byrne and see and Sins in Valley started Disability Justice movement. And, you know, at the time of um, DAMO, Disability Advocates of Minorities Organization, I also met um, Tiny and Dee from Poor Magazine. And Poor Magazine, um, you know, took me in and I did a column, one of the first columns on the internet. I deal with race and disability back in 98, 99. So, so I've been at Poor Magazine ever since. And now Poor Magazine is in Oakland and doing much work around poverty and disability. And they have their own school, they have their own radio station. Mm. And they're building houses for poor people so yeah so that's poor magazine and after that i'm still with poor magazine but um queer pot started 12 years ago and queer pot nation is an international network of disabled musicians from around the world so we have um chapters all through africa uk um yeah brazil we just did an online concert a couple months ago and we raised money for around two organizations one in detroit and one in uh, new york so quick pot needs and does one big event every year and last year we had an all african disabled musicians tour and where disabled um, African musicians came here from South Africa, from um, the Congo, from Tanzania. They all came here and we did a two week tour around the Bay Area. So, yeah, so Crip Hop is more than just music. We do advocacy, we write articles, and we do this. Um, um, Black Disabled Men Talk series on YouTube. So we do, yeah, we do a lot. We're, we're trying to buy a house right now. 
Oh, Ooh. that's that's nice. And I just want to um, thank you because, like, after I graduated, you actually gave me my first opportunity of like creating a painting. Yes. So, yes. like, I'm just appreciative of like what you're doing because, like, actually seeing your work. Because, like, for like a long time, like, I was ashamed to say, like, I had a disability. I want to further myself from like the disability community because you be overlooked and misunderstood by your family, and you just mm -hmm. and I just want to be accepted and be included. But like I, I appreciate your work and that you shine a light on what's the book that you that you're doing the ancestor the yeah black Kazila ancestors yeah. Yeah, so I I really appreciate it because like I learned a lot because like of course I knew about Harriet Tubman. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. like I just learned so much because I didn't even realize about like how police brutality affect people with disabilities. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So like I I just feel like your your work is and what you're doing is very impactful. And I just want to um, ask you, like, how, like, now looking back from when you first started Crip Hop Nation and Portman Magazine, and I forget the other organization you said, and up to, yeah, and up to now that you have, like, international chapters, how does that make you feel and what, and, like, the accomplishment? Yeah, well, you know, it's more about we and less about I. I think I think we we feel that it's now grown into a movement. You know, it's now grown into a culture. So you know, I feel you know happy because of that, and I also feel that there's so much work to be done. You know, for the next generation. Yeah. Yeah, and like I, um, cause I know, like, cause I want to kind of get into, cause I know you was, um, talking about with like your landlord, and then and mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, and with the house and with the housing situations and the inaccessibility for people with disabilities. Yeah, yeah, housing is is something else right here in California. I think everywhere housing has gone up and up. And because of that, there's a lot of houseless black disabled people because housing costs so much, you know? So that is, that's a big issue. And that's why Poor Magazine is building houses right now so they can house, you know, poor people and people with disabilities, so yeah. Oh, okay. So, like, moving forward, like, what are you think you would like to see the ADA, like, accomplish or some of the laws that you would like to see made or the improvement that needs to be, oh, okay, I'm all up, or, or, okay, let me kind of rephrase this. What are some of the still laws that need to be passed to, to help all people with disabilities that, that's not being oh, okay. <laughs> okay, better. Like, what would you like to see more from ADA? Yeah, I'd like to see it more implemented. And I think we have a law, but it's not implemented. So it's like having a piece of paper and you can't do nothing with it. So I'd like to see more implementation. You know, of the laws, and not only the ADA, of uh, disability rights laws. You know, I think I think government has been weak to implement our laws. So once again, like I said in the beginning, yeah, it's good to have laws, but if you if you don't implement it or uh, enforce it, then it's, then it's just a a piece of paper. So we, we, we really have to get on the government to say that you have to implement these laws, you know. Okay. 
So I want to thank you for joining me for this quick chat. And I want you to tell like our audience, like what are you now working on? Like your projects and how people can get in touch with you. Oh, thank you. So Queer Pop, like I said, is working on getting a two-story house in Berkeley. Um, we want a two-story house because we want to open it up to the public to have um, a studio in an art space downstairs. Mm. And upstairs we, you know, quit pop um, family and stuff. So we want a two-story house in Berkeley. That's a big one. And also, um, you know, quit pop is also working internationally. So we, we're, we're putting out a book hopefully next year of um, African and African Americans with disabilities, you know, just to communicate in one book. So, so you know, we need, you know, assistance with that. Um, there's, there's so much, there's so much, you know. Yeah, and you, you can contact us in Queer Pop with the K, queerpopnation.com. And you can email me at blackcrip with a K, blackcrip at gmail.com. Wait, uh, oh, here you go. Is that the correct um, email? Yeah, yeah, that's one of them, yeah. Yeah, so everybody who enjoyed this talk, you can contact Leroy at Crip Hop Nation. Um, he's doing amazing things for uh, black people, black disabled people in the community and shine a light on what needs to be done. And can you leave our audience with like a word of inspiration or what the black community needs to do to be more inclusive to people with disabilities. Yeah, I, yeah, I go back to the National Black Disability Coalition. You know, watch out for them because we're, we're about to do some big things coming up. Um, we're looking to do a national campaign with, with the Black community on disability. So we're really educating the Black community around disability because that's lacking. So that's coming out. And just, you know, be, be on the lookout because there's, there's a lot of black disabled leaders right now doing excellent work. You know, we got the Harry Tubman Collective, you got the National Black Disability Coalition, you know, you got, um, you know, Quip Out Nation, you got T.L. Lewis, you know, doing really good things around deafness and police brutality. So, yeah, so check out their work. Yeah. Okay, so thank you again for joining me, and uh, and I'm appreciative for 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 you um, for doing this interview with me. Yeah, thank you for having me. No problem, because I, I just want to show a way of how I could have shown my appreciative of you giving me an opportunity, so. I love, love your art, so yeah. Thank you. Okay, take care. Okay, have a nice night. Okay, bye. Bye.